And, I mean, that show, I, I've talked to Jerry Ferrara a couple times, talked to, to, to Doug a little bit uh, right. with, uh, with Kevin over... Uh, I, I haven't really, he's always been like kind of third on the podcast. I haven't like really sat down with him, but talked to enough people involved in the show that it seems like it was fun. Like as a fan, we all say, we have a question for Answer the Internet that's like, if you could live in, inside one TV show, what would it be? And a lot of people are like, fucking Entourage. That shit looked awesome. Um, but it also seems like the job, it was... breakfast with your friends every day <laughs> and then go to lunch yeah, and spend it was money. Yeah, you know, it Buy sneakers the, and fucking what are the bank chicks and that's it. People would always call, well, like, there was a big thing about people breaking down Vince's finances. Oh my God, Saying that it. we literally are lying about... <laughs> You'd have to be like a bazillionaire, right? You would right? have to be yeah. fucking Zuckerberg <laughs> yeah. for us to be living that lifestyle. You know? I mean, yeah, he was funding like six different lives and mansions right, right. and every, every, trips, jets and fucking, yeah. you know. Yeah, he made yeah. four million bucks on the movie before he paid everybody. <laughs> and, and, and it's like somehow we all just got new Aston Martins and live in a $40 million house. <laughs> you know, that but it, it was always like Doug always said, like it was, it was a wish fulfilled. It was supposed to be. A wish fulfillment. Yeah, show. Like, absolutely. Yeah, it I was it as big, and I bought all my boys Aston Martin. It, yeah, you know? I mean, if, 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 nobody wants the realistic one where Vinny comes home and he's like, "All right, well, we got like three hundred k after taxes." Lazy so lazy motherfuckers forever. So get your asses up and get to <laughs> get to work. You know? Right. Uh, but yeah, was it uh, was it fun to, to work on as an actor? Oh, like, amazing. yeah, I mean, it, it does seem that way. Yeah, where because I mean, sometimes I, it, I get disappointed when I hear. I've I've talked to guys who have been on the sets of movies where there's like 20 of your favorite comics and shit. Like, how fun was that? And they were like, Nah, man, it was stressful. It was hard. There was my, uh, egos, and we wanted to one up each other and all that. But it does seem like you guys all enjoyed it. You know, first of all, nowadays productions move to so many different places, mm -hmm. right? You, you tax credits. You know, you're in Vancouver, you're right? And wherever, right? right Crazy right. places. I'm yeah. Like, how good can the tax credit be? That right. We're going we gotta to go Romania. all the way. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck is that about, right? Um, but we would be, it would be like, honestly, like there were, there were times where we would be shooting so close to my house yeah. that I would just take a walkie talkie and I would go like sit on my couch and when they called me, I'd walk out of my house. Dude, that sounds and well, you know, yeah, so awesome. As opposed to being in a hotel room yeah. in Romania for four months, you know what I mean? Like that, so for yeah, by that ready. Come on nature down. of that. Right. And also too, there. like we would follow the trends, right? So it would be, you know, whatever club, was going on, that's that's the that's club we were shooting yeah. at. And they were welcoming 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 us with open arms because yeah. it was good for them. I'm sure. Right? So it's like whatever was happening, we were, you know, we were we were on the on the forefront of it. So it honestly, if you won if I won ten Oscars, it would never be more fun. It might be right. Better, obviously, but like there's, there's the never will, what, what in if, the history of the world could there be a more fun job than Entourage? I, I really believe that. Impossible. I, I yeah. genuinely believe that, yeah. Like even The Office, at the end of the day, they're in That's the sound work. stage, yeah, you, you know, yeah, they're doing yeah, all this yeah. kind of stuff. We were like, like strolling down Beverly Hills. Beautiful like, chicks. Hanging out. Like celebrity was cool. appearances. And also it was new success for everybody. Yeah, it did feel that way. Where Doug, like, and, Doug included, right? Yeah. So we were all... You're sort on of on this boat. ride together. Yeah. It wasn't like some like big fish that was like, right. you know. Well, I mean, you come from the point. Right, 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 exactly. Yeah, aside, from that, right, right. aside from that. I like how you're doing it, though. You see how you're not saying it? You just kind of mumble it? That's the way to do it. That's how we speak about it. You put your hands over your mouth and you, you know. It, it does feel like uh, a dream come true for like a 20-something, 30-something year old guy. Like, uh, I can't even think of something else that would compare. I remember people... I remember somebody pitched it to me when we first when I first started watching as this is Sex in the City for guys, and right. I was like, uh, all right, well, that's enough. And I, I, I don't I don't think that's a good comparison, but I think from the actual show point of view, like girls had their show to watch right. and do their thing. And it was New York. It was like New York was like the fifth character. Yes, for sure. And L.A. LA was, is that yeah. Right, like, but so I don't know if the actual show itself is like that comparison. It's different. But having a a show that your boys can talk about. Right. Because it was like, we just watched sports and we watched like some funny sitcoms and that was that. And also it was Whatever. a half hour. It was like, easy. It's and it, but it was like, there was, it almost became water cooler talk even though right. we were like in high school. I was in high school at the time. It was like, did you see what Vin, Vinny did last night? Like right. how about that chick who V was, you know. Right. And that was our show to like talk about. And now the so fact that it's lived on. So you were old enough to have water coolers. Uh, so no, that's what I mean. <laughs> now you have to bring your own <laughs> water bottle. You don't stand around the water bottle. No, no, it, it, it was and it was, it just got, you know, and then I guess when, it, when the show went sort of international, and I remember at the 
premiere for the last season, the guy said to me, uh, somebody was like, Entourage is in like 214 countries yeah, and territories. I mean. Like I went to Egypt and, and you I was were a like, monster, like mega star. Yeah, it was like, I was, we were in Egypt and I remember we were like, it was on like the pyramids and like, there's people like, Yo, because it was after the season where Vince was on cocaine or whatever. Yeah. It was like, yo, E, you gonna get Vinny off the shit or what? <laughs> and, I, and I like had a headband. I was in like full Egypt mode, right? Yeah. I was like, thought I was in a fucking, I was Indiana Jones. <laughs> I, Andre was the furthest thing from my mind. I'm like, this guy's yelling. I'm like, what the fuck? This Dude, guy? Look, literally we're standing, in the Sphinx, bro. Literally standing on the pyramid realizing how short I was. I'm like, damn, these fucking bricks are big, man. <laughs> I don't even like to look at that picture because the bricks make me look really short. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so it would be a trip to go and like to go to places and you know the places that you would get recognized. Yeah. You're like, oh man. And then you listen to like people dubbing your voice in like whatever yeah. language, thinking like, God, that guy's a better actor than me. <laughs> should, does that guy speak English? <laughs> Maybe you can redub my performance. <laughs> you know. So and that like so you said that changes everything, right? That's that's money, that's fame, that's right. like just. Were, were you doing, when you get a, a, a job like that, do you do other roles in between yeah, that? Or do you yeah. just do your one show and you make it on a hit? Well, you know, the other thing, great thing about Entourage too is like a lot of the, the you know, network shows shoot for eight, nine months out of the year. Yeah, you We would quick. shoot from like March to like June or July. Oh, wow, a whole season? Way, yeah, yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Almost, I'd rather be on the set of Entourage for eight, eight nine months rather than, right. you know, I'm like, let's keep right, going, but it guys. Was, but it was, it, 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 was, it was hard because it was a lot. I mean, we worked, yeah. we definitely worked, you know, no long, 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 long doubt, hours. Yeah. And People was, don't think that, you know, it's like as well, fun as it is. It was you know, a lot hour days of and all shit. work. Was lot. there any, was there any drama, any beef, any like inside, nah, you know, not fights? Not really, you know, like, you know, the, you know. Jeremy Pivot is Jeremy, but yeah. we always got along with Jeremy. I, yeah, he, I always he, got. He it. was probably the biggest star at that point. That's right? what I'm saying. He yeah. had done. He had done the most. Right. Right. right? You know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and then and then the way his character sort of blew up, people would ask us like, if that was no, he did the only thing that was good for all of us. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Fucking rack those Emmys up, baby. Let's keep 100%. this shit going. Yeah, I was like, you know, yeah. great. That yeah, that. Uh, yeah. I mean, there, was there any any competition like that? Like, no, because you know, also too, you know, Jeremy, this guy had been in fifty movies. Yeah, so before he kind of, yeah, like you know, he we, was we like an elder statesman. Yeah. Like, yeah, he earned it. He paid his dues. You right. know what I mean? So um, but that yeah. that might be also why the show worked like it did. Because I would imagine if you do Entourage a thousand times. I bet you like with different casts and people, like 999 times, I bet you there's some beef, some drama, this guy became a diva, this guy got uh, hooked on drugs, almost like what happened on the fucking show. And, but you guys just seem to be like the perfect storm where everyone was like pretty cool, but pretty there normal. Was, but there's that brother thing, you know, yeah. there were times where you're like, I'm gonna fucking kill, I'm gonna kill this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna kill this guy. But like, like in, punch, in like the brother, in like yeah. the brother way, you know? Yeah. So it's yeah. like, yeah. And, and the other I mean, thing too. I mean, the point that, you know, you and Thug and Kevin and everybody are still doing shit together. <laughs> right, It's like, right. you know, a lot of times this, this shit ends and everyone goes their separate ways. No, it's like yeah, the fact we, that you guys are still kicking, it makes, makes you and, know. And, and, the tr and the truth is like, there's the, you know, you, what we went through was something that only those other guys can understand, mm -hmm. right? Like, it's, yep. it, the, especially with the four guys, like, Definitely, it's yeah. just like only they know. Like, it's, it's, yes. so there's that, and there, yeah, the show has been other hit shows, other course, breakouts, other comparable course. things, but not like this. It's, it, it, it's we have a unique insight alone. into each other, or yeah. sort of. Or sort were of were, were you single at the time of Entourage? Um, I mean, it was on for ten years, right? Yeah, so I was, yeah. I was, and I was. Yeah, and I, I, was I would and imagine I being single and being on Entourage was probably. An I probably was not thing. single enough. Enough, yeah. yeah. I probably. Yeah, it's almost like thinking back, like, oh, I had more. a girlfriend in college. What a fucking bonehead! Right, having right. a girlfriend on this side of Entourage, but not the best. <laughs> <of ideas. laughs> yeah, right, I'm sure exactly. they were not exactly ugly or anything right. like that, but. Right. But yeah. Uh, no, it was, it was, it was, I mean, the whole thing was just, it, it was bananas. And then, you know, you would get other opportunities like, you know, he, he, I, he, I did, he's just not that into you, which yeah. was, for me, it was a big, it was a big get, Monster right? Cast it was, too, uh, like, yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? It's like, you know, in alphabetical order, I got kind of fucked because Affleck, I mean, like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Normally, Connolly, you land up You're at up the top. Front, yeah. I got Jennifer Connolly ahead of me. I got Affleck. <laughs> I got Barry Moore. I'm like, I'm buried. Hey, I listen, been that's... Top, I could have been the top billing.